Hey guys, Mark from Gumpler Network here. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, today I am doing a special little video for you. Uh, obviously you know I live here in Australia, in Sydney, and um, today I am at my local hobby store, I guess you would say. Uh, it hasn't opened yet. So today I'm going to go inside and give you a little tour of um, where I can get my supplies and stuff, one of the few places here in Australia. Hobbyco are the official distributor of uh, Bandai Gumpler um, and you know, Bandai products here in Australia, as well as a ton of other paint tools and accessories and stuff like that. So uh, I'll go inside and we'll get a quick look at the, you know, where I can shop for my stuff. All right, so wow, look at this one on sale. We've got a 00 Gundam 7 sword, perfect grade, newly released. So they have a wide ton of accessories, the system weapons, Northern Pod, K9 dog pack, stuff like that. Even like little non gumpler stuff like ships. Yamato 2199, the new series. Uh, and they do have a ton of displays. Unfortunately, like not as much room as we'd like in the shop and they probably will get more eventually, but um, you can see the tons and tons of displays. Up to oh, Thunderbolt, we've got the full range pretty much of the um, Gundam the Origin, Blue Destiny, <laughs> the RG Sazabi. I was just talking to Ryan about this one. Um, this kit was pre-production, so it came out as a, you know, the pre-bag sample kits, uh, not the final prototype, and um, it's actually a statue. They've had to glue this thing in place, um, so from, from what I've read of all other reviews, and I'll be doing one next month, hopefully, it's actually a much better kit now, so. San Andrew and Unicorn. Oh, a nice painted uh, 160 Dom. So uh, there's the Exia in the back in its um, full armor. And yeah, so this is just a cool place to check out things like this. In terms of the stock range, uh, tons of SDs and bears. The full range of build divers you would have seen before. Um, so here we go, we've got MGs on the top row, and then the HGs. So the RGs and the HGs are sorted by series. Tons of gunpla. I love hanging in this place. You can see some more kits on display. Including down to GBWC entries. Uh, this is not GBWC, but this is Weathered As Aaron, last year's Australian GBWC champion. Um, his version of the Fasalis GPO2. <laughs> That's a Builders Australia local competition trophy they made up, the Titus. And you can see Benny Lamar's uh, entry there. Ryan actually painted up this Providence, which is really nice. That's his green San Andrew. As you can see, they have all the base stands, tons of water slides. So many kits. How awesome is this, guys?
Hey, and we see Ryan cleaning up. Good morning. All right. Good morning, guys. How are you? Welcome to Hobby Coat. <laughs> so, what we're actually here announcing today in this video is a new partnership, Gunpla Network and Hobbyco. So they're going to be uh, sponsoring me for video reviews now in Australia. So thank you very much, Ryan. Yep, no worries. So can we just ask a couple of questions? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, go for How it. many years have you been in the hobby? Too long. <laughs> I've kind of been here for maybe 20 plus years now. It's kind of something that we've done. We've been, uh, my ro role here at Hobbyco and business development, so we, I look after all the Bandai distribution uh, all around Australia. We do our events such as GBWC. We also do um, uh, a lot of community, community building stuff. Oh, definitely. And um, that's the side of thing that we've been sort of doing for many years now, simply because that I think the, the, the hobby itself, you know, we sort of promote it and get everybody in sort of young, young kids and, and up to adults or whatever. So that's kind of what we do and we love what we do. It gets a little crazy from time to time, but yeah. <laughs> and hosting GBWC as well. Yeah, hosting GBWC. Look, it's we've been doing it since 2010. It was actually, we were on it before it was even called GBWC. It's actually called Backup at the very, very first, back in 2000, to evolve to what it is now. So come July, July 13th, 14th this year, we have it at Darling Harbour. So that should be a lot of fun. So uh, we're currently doing a lot of stuff with that sort of event at the moment. And new, that's, new category? Yeah, new category, just a little bit of fun. Um, we, we, we introduced this category called uh, Wakaba, which is in translating Japanese called Young Leaf. So it's more designed for the, you know, the most common thing that we get for sort of builders is like, oh, there's no way I want to jump into into um, GBWC because my skills are good enough. So we've done this very basic, simple out of box uh, category, um, which is basically you build it out of box, paint it, no mods, no nothing. It's more about getting the basics right, sort of just going and, and building it out of the box, make sure your paint is on prep, make sure the nubs are clean, pose it, and that's it. So that's like, and you have to be, you have never entered GBWC before. It's sort of an entry in. So it's more like jumping in the pool and say, it's not as scary as it is. I mean, it, the, the, the work that's the work that's sort of seen in it is pretty full on, but um, yeah, it's really a, a way to get in without having to be intimidated. <laughs> yeah, I was so disappointed when I saw you must not have entered before. I thought, damn, I could have owned that category yeah. this year. <laughs> Three years practice. Yeah, exactly. But well, you know, I mean, you know the community itself, Mark, you've been a long time and we work very hard to sort of promote it. and. And really, it's, it's all about the community, all right? It's all about community building and making it really sort of easy for everyone to enter without being sort of, you know, your skills build up as you go. The more you kind of do it, the better you get. So that's really pretty much how we, we kind of run it. And that's it. That's what I love about Australian Gunplay as well as Hobbyco. You guys are all about the community and giving back. Yeah, I, I think our philosophy and my own personal philosophy is give back I will always give out as much again, expect nothing in return. I mean, that's really, you know, pay it forward kind of thing. And, and that's a difference And we want to try and really sort of empower the community and just have fun. And, you know, any any chance to throw an after party, that's... <laughs> we, that's won't, thing. we won't go into the parties. The we won't parties go into the parties. Are, the parties are not for videos. Yeah, right, yeah, especially. that's for another video. But, you know, that we make, we're trying to make the GBWC weekend to be a fun weekend where all of Australia main disadvantage of being in Australia is everybody's so far away, right? So so when you guys come down, other guys come from the States, are trying to make it like a fun weekend, right? So we kind of have the event, we have a lot of fun and games. During the event, there's a lot of shenanigans that happen. Then we have the after party, then the after, after party, then the after party. Then we go home about 3 a.m. and we do it on and a then, Sunday. And then we get Sunday afternoon and no one has a voice left. No one's got a voice left. hell yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, 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 it's, it's what it is. And, and I think Hobby is an 80 year old company now. Wow. 80 plus. And then we're probably, we would be the oldest hobby shop in the world. And nice. um, you know, we've got two levels. I mean, Gundam is just not what we do. We do a lot of other things. So we distribute a lot of product, um, other brands, a lot of Japanese brands. We, we, we distribute Hasegawa, Aishima. Brands like Spa Max, airbrushes, tools. We try to make it so that that hobby goes on. Is you sort of come to us, and you don't need to go to Japan because we've got it all. So we, that's our ongoing progress that we want trying to develop. New, um, new brands incoming. Yeah, new brands and guys coming. So all you guys have had to sort of go and and um, 
uh, smuggled Sne- guy. Sneaky orders. I know, yeah. right? I've been trying to get this into Australia for about seven years now, probably longer actually, but it's just very hard, the, the, um, the sort of uh, language barriers and obviously they're always not just, yeah, you just jump. Why would they jump out of their local market when they're so successful and dominate the Japanese market? So at least now that's in play. So a lot of people are kind of happy with that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we do. And um, yeah, I wouldn't do this if I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I might finish the tour of the yeah, shop. Yeah, for thanks sure. very much for letting me in today. I hope and it's I... not too messy. It's, it's in no. the morning. It's, it's kind of, I'm, I was doing my, my normal walk around. Actually, I don't get to go to the shop as much these days because I'm, I'm, again, I'm rarely ever here. But I was just double checking a few things. But Look, I'd risk eating off that floor. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Well so, done. You know. Thanks, right. guys. Looking forward to working with the guys. You guys at GN. It's, it's going to be a blast. We're, you know, we're open. We want to try and promote it. And I said, if you're in Australia, you got no choice, but you've got to come down Sydney. to Sydney and also support your local shops all around Australia, all our partners, and come down GBW. Can I get a hill? Yeah. <laughs>